Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a fascinating aspect of Python's subprocess module. Our viewer asks, how does subprocess.call work with shell set to false? Let's break down the question. The viewer is using Python's subprocess module to execute Linux command line functions. They notice that the documentation highlights a key difference when using shell equals true versus shell equals false. The viewer is curious about what happens when shell is set to false. They want to know how it differs from using shell equals true and what specific commands can or cannot be executed in each case. We'll also explore examples of commands that can only be executed with shell equals true and whether there are any scenarios where shell equals false has advantages. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the difference between using shell equals true and shell equals false in the subprocess.call function. When you set shell equals false, you provide the command as a list. This means that subprocess will not invoke a shell to execute the command. In contrast, when you use shell equals true, you can pass a single string command. This allows for shell features like pipes and redirection. Now, let's discuss what can be done with shell equals is true that cannot be done with shell equal false. For instance, you can use shell features like piping. Conversely, there are no specific tasks that can only be done with shell equals false. However, using shell false is generally safer and avoids shell injection vulnerabilities. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Many people think that subprocess.call and similar functions must run commands through the shell. However, that's not the case. You can use subprocess to start a program directly without a shell. Using shell equals false is suitable for commands that simply execute an executable with arguments. But if your command involves shell features like pipelines or redirections, you need to set shell equals true. It's generally better practice to use shell equals false unless you specifically need shell features. This is because shell behavior can be complex and sometimes confusing. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.